Hi guys, welcome back to Astro Photography Quest. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the differences between Pixinsight and Photoshop. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about price and what you get for the price. So Pixinsight is $260 US dollars for a one-time payment, whereas Photoshop is $21.99 monthly US dollars. So they're pretty similar in a lot of ways. So Photoshop actually has a lot of the similar tools that Pixinsight has. Except Pixinsight, it can, it can do a lot of the same things, basically. But Pixinsight has a lot of extra features made just for astrophotography. So I would recommend if you're just getting started and want to pay a one-time payment, that's pretty big. But you would actually prefer um, all the extra astro tools added. Then I would recommend going for Pixinsight. Because a lot of things are more automatic in Pixinsight, like background removal. You have uh, histogram transformation, which that's not really automatic. But things that are automatic, like star removal, like Starnet, those are a lot of cool things that Pixinsight has for dedicated for astrophotography that Photoshop does not. All right, let's go hop on the computer and take a look at what both these softwares can do. So let's take an example of a background removal, both using Pixinsight and Photoshop. So in order to remove a background in Pixinsight, it's very easy. You can go to Background Modelization Automatic Background Extractor. This will automatically subtract the background. So I would recommend going down to Target Image Correction and selecting Subtraction. That way, it actually removes the background. So then click, you click this little square down here click, called Apply. So we'll apply that. Okay, so here's our subtracted background. You see it subtracted the background. There's the old background that it subtracted. Now, in Photoshop, it's a little similar method, except you're doing it yourself. So in order to subtract a background in Photoshop, okay, first of all, you go to Background. You duplicate this layer. Is anything we'll call it background removal and i am going to copy this so we're going to say edit copy file new and we'll create this and we'll actually click command v on a mac to actually paste the image we copied now we can say filter noise dust and scratches this is basically going to remove all the stars so we can create our background model i think this radius is pretty good but we're actually going to turn down threshold because i tend to not turn it up because it makes it look weird this is a little bit more manual as you can already tell look look okay takes a second sometimes these processes are very slow all right so as you can see now we have our background model except we have the andromeda galaxy here so we actually need to erase that with something called the spot healing brush tool and so this is just an example of what you can do in photoshop versus pixelsite this is basically the same thing so now when you're done with that you can click file save as now we actually got to click image apply image so we're going to basically apply this background we're going to subtract it kind of like we did in pixel site we select and subtract and we're not going to subtract file on 31 because that's the whole image we're going to subtract the background now with this you want to turn up the offset so this, as you see this is way more manual than pixel site so i want to turn up the offset to like 80 and then you can just turn down the black point like this see sometimes manual can pay off more but there is a manual way to do this in Pixinsight, which is process, background monetization, dynamic background extraction, but that takes forever, so we're not going to get into that today. So that just gives a basic overview of what the two softwares can do. As you see, Photoshop is a lot more manual than Pixinsight. So now, let's talk about what it would be as a whole to process a full image. To process an image like, for example, the Andromeda Galaxy, Photoshop is actually more efficient in some ways because you mess with the core better, the core can get dimmer, but there is a way that does it automatically called HDR Multiscale Transformer of Pixinsight. It does it automatically, but uh, I found Photoshop to give you a lot more control over what you're actually editing. So I found out, actually for the galaxies and stuff, because there's a bright core, I found out that Photoshop gives you a lot better usage for actually controlling your edit session. As for Pixinsight, I feel like it can give you a lot sharper of images. Like when I actually edited the Andromeda image in a pr couple previous videos ago, um, I found that it got really sharp using the deconvolution feature in Pixinsight. I feel like um, if you're a user who just wants automatic control, then I would go for Pixinsight. If you really just want something to do it for you most of the way, I would recommend Pixinsight. If you're the kind of person who wants to have full control over your image, then I would recommend Photoshop because Photoshop has a lot more, you have a lot more control over what you're doing. Whereas Pixinsight, it's a lot more automatic, but it is dedicated more to astro images, so it does a pretty good job. Now, I do some features I don't like on Pixinsight, like the auto stretch feature. It doesn't do very well for me, so I wouldn't recommend using the auto stretch feature, especially if you're using a DSLR, because I found it doesn't work very well. I would recommend stretching it by manually by the histogram transformation in Pixinsight. But let's say if I had to choose just one for a beginner, 
I would probably recommend Photoshop. This helps the learning curve really build. You can actually easily control and learn all the features and how they work and everything with Photoshop. So I would choose Photoshop. Especially if you don't get very good images in the beginning. Photoshop would do a lot better than Pixinsight. A little bit more down the road, I would recommend going for Pixinsight. But if you want to get both, that's a great idea as well because they work in harmony together awesome. All right, looks like that's it for today. Now, if you have a question or comment, leave in the comment box below and also let me know what software did you choose and why. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this video and clear skies. Until next time.